Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I want to talk to you about Lightroom and this new option that has been added to Lightroom Classic CC um, and it's called Textures. Um, textures is uh, a new functionality that allows you to enhance the detail and the texture within the image. Um, traditionally we had the clarity slider which you could use to enhance those textures and, and make it more gritty, grungy and so forth. Um, I'm going to show you what is the difference now within the clarity as opposed to the texture, how you would use it. So in this example here, I've got this uh, photo that I took in Lyon earlier this year when I was there. I haven't done anything to this image. It is pretty much straight out of the camera. Um, now, if I move the clarity slider on this image, you will see that it enhances the texture, the detail of the image, but it also somehow mutes it a little bit. The colors get muted, um, the contrast gets enhanced and uh, basically it becomes gritty. And that's great, that's what we had up to now. That meant that um, if I wanted to enhance that, maybe I will increase the vibrance a little bit, open up the shadows a touch more, um, and maybe tone down a little bit of the contrast to um, still have the image nice and clean and not too gritty, unless you're going for that kind of look which in some cases I do use because it allows you to basically create a very um, contrasty, um, high detail HDR type look in your photo. Um, but other times you don't want that. And um, as opposed to doing all of this, I find that new texture slider is actually quite useful. So let's uh, try and use the textures on this image. So I'm just gonna crank this all the way up to 100. And you see the detail is enhanced. The image is crisper and, uh, and, and more textures. Um, I guess that's the word, right? Um, and it's, it's just enhancing the detail in the image when you do this. It didn't really touch any of the colors and contrast and, uh, and, and the vibrance in the image. Whereas when you look at this clarity slider, let's go back and do that again. You see the greens in the background get a bit muted. Um, some of the reds are muted, the dark colors are more contrasty and punchy. Um, and that's kind of great um, if you're going for that look. But sometimes you just want to have a little bit more texture and detail in the image. And the only way you could do it was the clarity slider. But now we have something different, which is the texture option. The other reason why they've added this functionality into uh, Lightroom is for portrait retouching where you want to soften the skin textures and, and the detail in the skin. You want a softer, more subtle portrait. Um, and in that case, essentially what you do is you can use the texture slider, but in the opposite direction. So when you reduce it, you see how the image starts to become soft and smooth, essentially. So that's, um, that's essentially the textures. Um, textures has been added to the brushes as well. So now if you want to do selective adjustments, you can take a brush and basically brush in and that will soften those certain areas that you want to soften in your image. Uh, so let's just do a big blob of that. And here you can see essentially that's, that's what we've done. So if I look at the overlay of the mask there and that basically softens all of that. Um, so textures are going to be really cool to use and explore moving forward with some of the images. Um, I think I'm certainly going to enhance and redo some of my existing presets and leverage more of the texture uh, and rather than the clarity where I've been used to using clarity to create HDR-ish looks. Um, I will basically redo some of those presets and refine those. So if you want to check out my presets, I'll put a link up in the video uh, and a discount code at the bottom so you can have a look at some of my Lightroom presets. But um, if you haven't looked at this feature, I suggest you go check it out. Textures in Lightroom, uh, another great way to enhance your architectural images as well as to edit your portraits um, in Lightroom. So. Again, more and more reasons to work purely in Lightroom and not have the need to go into Photoshop because um, it's a, a very feature-packed, very heavy software and it can be intimidating for people who are not comfortable using Photoshop. So great job, Adobe. Finally, um, something to be um, proud of, something to be happy about. Uh, they don't do things uh, that make people happy, but I'm certainly happy they added this texture functionality in Lightroom. So great job. Thank you very much, Adobe. Um, 
Thanks again for watching this video. Hope you found this useful and you'll check out some of my presets or some of my other videos on this channel. Let me know what you think about the textures. Have you tried them in the comments down below? And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Um, and I'll see you soon with another video back here on this channel. Take care, bye-bye.